Hey YouTube, Old School Gamer 1981, back again. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since my last video. Um, I wanted to save up and get a bunch of stuff for uh, before I did another pickups video. Um, like I said before, I had a reseller that was actually going out of business and he was going to sell me all of his NES carts. So he had like over 500. Well, I couldn't get in contact with him for a week. And when I finally did, he said he had sold them all. He said someone came to his house with a $500 cash, and he sold them all, gave them all of them. So completely missed out on that. You know, screwed me over. I tried calling him like every day. But um, I did go over there. He said he had a bunch of stuff. Mostly he had like 200 some consoles. I wasn't really interested in those. I was, you know, just trying to pick up some more games. And um, he had a few... Uh, Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo games. I actually had a lot of Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis games, but I told him I was only interested in box ones. And he said he'd sell them to me for 50 cent a piece. So that's what I did. Um, I'm not going to show all the Sega ones because I just I got stacks. I'm like, here's, here's a stack of them right here. I got like five more stacks of these. And it's just too many games to go through. And, uh, but uh, one of the more rare ones I got in the cardboard box was... Uh, Magic School Bus, which I think was kind of a pricey game. So uh, I was kind of happy to get that for uh, 50 cent. I think it even came out to be the last one. It's been told everything up. He just said, give me this. Um, he had, like I said, uh, someone beat me to it. I think they picked out a lot of the good stuff that he had. But he had a bunch of box of Super Nintendo games, you know, of course, sports games, uh, Star Trek. WrestleMania, and two more sports games. So these are all complete in a box, and you know he was pretty much <laughs> gonna throw everything away, sell it at have a huge garage sale at his house. So you know couldn't pass those up. And um, so yeah, I uh, was hoping to strike it big on NES on that. Oh, and he uh, he did. I think he kind of felt bad for me because I was he knew I was pretty mad that he gave away or sold all his. 500 NES games to some imaginary guy that came over $500 cash. I don't even know if it was true, but looking at all the shit he had, um, he, um, I think he was telling the truth. But uh, he did have a Nintendo Power Pad sitting there in the corner, and I was like, well, how much do you want for the Power Pad? And it's in really rough shape. The boxes in there, the Power Pad, it's like, you know, brand new looking, but the box is just like torn to shit. But um, he said I could just have it. He gave it to me for free. So I think uh, he was trying to kind of make up for blowing me off for a week. And, uh, you know, whatever. That was cool. And um, he's, he's got some other buddies that, you know, are really into reselling and do all that. So he's going to try to hook me up with some NES stuff that way, allegedly. Um, I did go to some out-of-town swap meets and a bunch of thrift stores. I didn't really find anything, but um, I already kind of put some of the common games that you know I didn't have for my collection in but uh, one game I did find for a dollar was uh, Legend of Zelda the you know gray cartridge I didn't have the gray one so uh, that was pretty freaking cool to find that for a dollar so I can add that you know to my collection um, I did do a couple trades with a uh, 8-bit psycho um, I'll put a link to his channel down below um, we uh, traded some games that we had doubles of, and uh, the first one I think was a Spy Hunter. <coughs> Second one, Ninja Gaiden 2. Bubble Bobble, which I had the manual for already, so that was good to uh, get that for the collection. And Barbie. So thanks for that, 8 uh, Bit Psycho. He also threw in as a bonus these uh, Bazooki. Bazooka Wacky Package cards back from the early 90s, and I, I barely remember these. I saw them, I was like, where do I recognize these from? But I, I think these were around in the early 90s, so thanks for throwing that in as a bonus. Um, one last thing, I don't know if you just saw that or not, but I was looking, I always look on eBay, like I said before, um, I go to... Um, newly listed, type in NES, and just refresh, refresh when I'm bored, and, you know, see if I can find any good deals, but, uh, I really hated buying this, I wanted to find one out hunting, but, uh, 
I couldn't pass it up for the price. It was uh, listed for $25, buy it now, just put up, and it was free shipping. So I hopped on it, and it was a fucking power glove. <laughs> so I was pretty stoked to find one for uh, $25 online. You know, it's in a pretty good shape. I, of course, I can't test it because I don't have the sensors for it and everything. But um, to find one of these for uh, 25 bucks, I thought was pretty good because every time I've tried to bid on them on eBay, they go up to like $50 or some crazy amount. And that's just, you know, without the sensors and everything. So, you know, yeah, I uh, went on eBay and uh, bought a power glove. And I had one when I was a kid and, of course, I dug around my attic looking for it. I can't find it. It's gone, lost, probably got thrown away. So I had to have one. I got it now. Don't have to worry about it. So, you know, fuck you, flea market, for never letting me find one of these. I just went and bought one. So that's uh, pretty much it. I did forget one um, game that the reseller guy also gave me. This was the only uh, Sega Saturn game he had was uh, Independence Day, and that's complete. It's got a little crack in it. Um, I think he kind of sold his stuff pretty cheap. There's a sticker there for, you know, $3 on it. So, um, you know, it might not have been a... Maybe that's why he's going out of business because he's selling everything so cheap. But uh, I told him, he said he might have more Sega Saturn, Sega CD games, and he's going to look. And this guy's got trailers and trailers full of shit. So, um, who knows? Maybe he'll call me back. Maybe he won't. But uh, it's Friday. Uh, tomorrow's swap meet and garage sale, and Sunday is flea marking. So... Uh, thanks again to 8-Bit Psycho. Make sure to subscribe, and I'm going to try to find a bunch more shit this weekend, next weekend, and pop up another video. So, uh, until next time, talk to y'all later.